Mexicans and shit. Like, I'm talking about they like 30 deep. Mm -hmm. They wild as hell. They got Crenshaw shirts on in Chicago. I'm like, what the fuck? The same nigga that was with Nip that he got killed. You know, he was with his homie that day in the parking lot. And the nigga that ran away, like took off fast as hell. That was Rampart. I need to call myself Rampart because it's the street I grew up on. Got a lot of grief for running away. Nigga, if somebody get the blowing at you and that nigga run off on you, the nigga like me gonna look at you like, damn, that's not honorable. This shows Hustle and another man fall to the ground as the others run from the gunfire. Cause that man, he he your lifeline, you know, he, you know, and he like he shot like save him, do something, nigga. Ah, uh, I mean, Rimpo was never built like that anyway. The best thing he could do is not affiliate himself with the hood and go live his life. That's the best thing that could save his life. I know he was going through a lot in L.A. with real niggas on his ass about that and this and that. But I'm like, well, they missed the part where he really did that shit in Chicago. Like they had one security, they was on the tour. He was on that hundred tape, hundred dollar tape tour shit. Yeah, yeah. Us the TV, we getting it in right now. Six Mexicans with Crenshaw shirts on came behind. It, matter of fact, at the concert, Sean, it was fucking 100 Mexicans with Crenshaw, colorful Crenshaw shirts on on the south side of Chicago. We went backstage, Nip like, man, hey, keep y'all head up because, you know, some shit went on back home. He did, and that's why I can say it. So the 60s or whatever, they had robbed the motherfucking cartel for like 300 keys of heroin. And they know he traveling and this and that, so he was an easy target. They was going to kill him to hurt the 60s type shit. You see what I'm saying? That's that's why they was going to kill Nip, you know what I'm saying? But Nip, they so, had nothing to do with that or nothing. Like, he was telling me, he's like, I don't got nothing to do with that, but the homies back home, they did some shit. So it was like, the Mexicans was at war with any nigga from around there. They caught you with a white t-shirt on. They was killing you type shit in L.A. All types of, well, that shit, you know, I, we got a big Mexican present too in Chicago, Humble Park and all that. They real, they monsters too. So I guess they got the kite to go ahead and do them. They tried to do them because, mind you, they got a nigga like, they got a goofy ass security with him, like on some Dewberry shit. Like your boy Charles the White Homie Dewberry, that think he can whoop shit. I swear to God, listen, they had a nigga like that with him from LA. Like, man, all right, I got the gun on me, I'm big as hell, I'm gonna knock a nigga out. Big slow dumbass nigga. I swear to God. So we thinking, we pulling out, me and my nigga Shorty Six, we pulling out, we got sticks on us, we pulling out, we about to leave. He ain't wanna leave. His tour bus in the alley back there behind Reggie's on 22nd. We on the tour bus, you feel me? This is how we getting it, my nigga. So we out of that, he get on the tour bus, right? So in our rear view, we see the colorful shirt, Sean, the Crenshaw nigga. We see him. They run into the bus. We, oh. <laughs> Throw the car in reverse. Like, what the fuck? There's six motherfucking Mexicans. Little niggas. They not big and no big goons. But like I say, like a Dewberry ass nigga standing there trying to talk tough to him. Man, the littlest Mexican, I swear to Jesus Christ. Man, knock this big goofy ass straight out on some Chicago shit. Bah! Little nigga. <laughs> Fucking G, <laughs> Pack his ass out. He fall out. Bam, he had on big glasses. Glasses and his ice outside. Glasses skied across the motherfucking ice and his gun skied across the ice. Couple of them trying to get to the gun. The other shorty just beat, beating the big ass, the Dewberry nigga. They beating him. We done hopped out the cops. Icy, we got two thirties on us. Imagine this Nipsey tour bus right here. And Ron Pod just opened the door, jumped off the bus. Pack a nigga. Bam, still on him. Next Mexican rolled up. Wow, stab Ron Pod. We damn, then it killed folks. Now I'm like, fuck it, get the boom, 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 boom. Come on, we hit, we told Nissy, bust up. Woo, 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 woo. Do you, was it Latin Kings or somebody? Was it? Like I ain't gonna a, put that on my King brothers. I don't know. I said Mexicans. I don't know what they could have been. Some two folks. They could have been some two sixes. I don't know what the fuck they were. Chicago got a lot of Latin games. It could have been Latin folks. Could have been some SDs. I don't know. I just know they was Latin descent. I don't even know if they was Mexican. They were Latin descent and they didn't come to play. And they had on different colors, like blue, purple, red. They had a bunch of colorful shirts all in the winter. But no, they was out there, they was trying to kill Nip, man. Now I'm calling Big Cuz, my, my Big Cuz, BMF Big Cuz. I'm calling Big Cuz because this is how we know Nip and all these. This is how I know damn near everybody through Big Cuz. That was Big Meat's partner. Y'all got to, niggas need to dig more deep into them. You see what I'm saying? BMF Big Cuz, go look them up. So because I call him like, man, y'all need, you know, tell them niggas in L.A. They better send somebody with Nip. He by himself. So, you know, they they put it together. And I think uh, them 60 niggas met him in the, his next move and made sure everything was smooth because they had a hit on them over their neighborhood taking some bricks from some uh, cartel niggas. Crazy. But yeah, them 60 niggas know. Like, we let off about 30 shots at their end. Nip, that was my man. Z-Low Key. Him and Mouse got two songs that I just keep to myself on some petty shit.